In this video, I will show you how to create an awesome logo animation, using Adobe After Effects. Let's get started. Download, and open the Illustrator file. Here, I have separated the logo into several parts. So it will be easier when creating the animation. Select all the layers. And export into the After Effects. Here, I'm using a plugin called Overload to export. If you do not have this plugin, simply drag and drop the Illustrator file into After Effects. I will lock the background layer, so it will easier to manage layers. Select all the layers of the icon and pre-compose it. Again, I will pre-compose all the text layers as well. I will move the text composition to the bottom. Let's animate the icon, first. I will change the color of the layers to green. So it will easier to separate layers. Pick the pen tool. Remove the fill. And enable the stroke. I will set the stroke size to 30 pixels. Now create a stroke line covering the bottom layer. Again cover the whole logo in the same way. Make sure to get a new stroke line, for each part of the logo. I will fast forward this step to save time. OK. Now select this layer. And add a trim path. Move the timeline to a position like this. Create two keyframes. 0, and 100. Let's check the animation. Select both keyframes. And easy ease them. Go to graph editor and create a speed graph like this. I think the animation is a little speedy. So I will adjust the keyframes and fix it. OK. Now the animation is looking good. Select both keyframes, and press Ctrl plus C to copy them. Select the opposite layer, and paste it. Again, select the other two layers, and paste it. Press U and open keyframes. Increase the speed of the animation by adjusting keyframes holding Alt key, like this. OK. Let's fix the starting point of these two stroke lines. Get the timeline to a position like this. Select these two layers. Move it about three frames forward. Press Alt plus left bracket key, and cut both layers from here. Again, select the top two layers, and move about four frames forward. Let's see the animation. OK. The animation is looking good. Now move each stroke line layer, to the top of each shape layer like this. Select all the green color layers, and change the track mat to alpha mat. OK. Now we can see a perfect writing style animation. Again, select all the layers, and pre-compose them. Find the same composition in the project window. Press Ctrl plus D, and make a duplicate of that composition. Drag and drop into the timeline. Press Ctrl, Alt plus slash keys. It will create a whole new composition with the same settings, and layers as the previous one. So we can do changes to that compositions without affecting the first composition. Move the first composition about 5 frames forward. Let's add a fill color to the bottom layer. So go to Effects and Presets, and search for Fill. Drag and drop it into the second layer. I will change the fill color to white. OK. Now double click and go to the bottom composition. Select all the shape layers, or the layers in blue color. Change the stroke size to 5 pixels. Now we can see the thickness has decreased. OK, let's check the animation. The animation seems perfect. Again select the top layer, and make a duplicate. Move it about 2 frames forward. Again, go to effect and presets, and add a fill to the middle layer. Change its color, 
equal to the background layer. Let's check the animation. We have almost finished the hard part. Now it's time to animate the text, so, open the text composition, press Ctrl plus R, and get the ruler. Then, add two guidelines and mark the bottom of each section. I will change this layer color to green, so it will easier to manage layers. Now, get the timeline to a position like this, then, add a keyframe to the position parameter. Take the timeline a little bit backward, and add another keyframe moving the text layer downward like this. Select both keyframes and easy ease them. Go to graph editor, and make a speed graph like this. Play with the keyframes, and adjust the timing. Press T, and open opacity settings. Then add two keyframes. 0 and 100. Let's check the animation. OK. Now select other text layers. Add two keyframes to the position as we did before. Select all keyframes, and easy ease them. Go to graph editor, and make a speed graph like this. Play with the keyframes, and adjust the timing. Again select all layers, and move each layer about 2 frames forward. OK. The animation looks good. I will move all the keyframes backward, or to the starting point. Then pre-compose it. There are several ways to add a mask. Here, I will use a rectangular shape, as a mask. Enable a fill, and create a rectangle like this. Select this layer, and change its track mat to alpha mat. Let's check the animation again. Take this composition to several keyframes forward. I will place it here. OK. Now the flow of the animation, is good. Let's move to the previous composition. Again we have to correct the flow of the animation. So I will move the text composition to several keyframes forward. Select the icon composition, and open the position setting. Add a keyframe. Move the timeline a little bit backward. Move down the icon, and it will automatically create a new keyframe. Select both keyframes, and easy ease them. Go to graph editor, and make a speed graph like this. Play with the keyframes, and correct the timing. OK. The animation is looking good. Select both layers, and parent to a null layer. Here, I'm using a plugin called Motion V2 to create the null layer. If you do not have that plugin, simply create a new null object, and parent those two layers to it. Again, select the null layer, and open the scale settings. Create two keyframes. 100, and the second one is 80. Select both keyframes, and easy ease them. Go to graph editor, and make a speed graph like this. Play with the keyframes, and adjust the timing. Check the final animation, and now we are done.